Hey there and welcome back to the web app at Firebase. So we set up Firebase uh, in the previous video and uh, we have our web app that we've created a simple front end for and uh, let's try to see if we can make the the first CRUD operation, the add or the create. So uh, first I'm just going to make a small adjustment here regarding the image that it's I think it's a little overly large here, so I'm just going to go to the image source and do width, I think 400 or something. So then it's going to be a little bit, yes. We can also see that if we uh, take the inspector open as I have here, um, that we actually have some errors because it says cannot read property SDK cannot instantiate Firebase database. Be sure to load Firebase app.js first. So I pro probably made a mistake here that uh, Firebase database is dependent on Firebase app. So we need to load up uh, Firebase app as the first thing. So we have to switch them around these two guys here. So if we save it and we refresh, we can see this is gone now. So now we have support for Firebase, okay? So that is good. The next thing is that we also created this app.js and uh, this is cool. We have a lot of code in here or we have some initialization code for that, but we need to connect these two files, the front end and the kind of the back end, but it's also front end here. Okay, so uh, we need to connect this uh, JS file with the HTML. And again, we could put the, the app.js file up here like this. But if we run the uh, the program on the web app now, we can see that Firebase is not defined. So we get an error inside app.js. And this means that app.js depends on Firebase and something else. Uh, maybe materialize or jQuery or something. So we need to always uh, take our own JS file and load it in the end. So we can make sure that all the dependencies have been loaded first. So we put app.js in the end here. Refresh, and then we can see now we don't have any errors. We can take this one there. Cool, so let's go to our app.js because we are initializing Firebase and now we should uh, type in some code. First, we need to set up some uh, variables for the database to kind of convenience. So we're doing Firebase and database. So that is a reference for our database we have in the DB. And we're also making one for, <coughs> for the reviews. Get element by ID, if I can type correctly here. So it's gonna be the reviews we need a reference for. And we also need uh, a third reference from the database. So let's see, this is called slash reviews. Okay, so first we have it. We have reference for the database. So we don't have to write uh, this piece of code every time. We need to interact with the database. We only have to write DB now. So so that is that will probably save us a little bit of time there. And uh, we also have uh, the reviews, and that refers to the uh, to the actual list of the reviews that we have in the front end here. Okay, so that is reviews. And we also have the third reference that's called review uh, ref, and that is a reference for the database inside here. So this is the, uh, a reference for the reviews collection, you might say, uh, in the database that we're making here. So then we are going to type review form, and we need to attach a uh, an event hand an event listener or event handler. And this is gonna uh, listen for the submit event, you might say. And, and then what should we do when the user clicks submit? So this means that the user clicks the button here, add or update, okay? So we click the submit and we uh, subscribe to the event here, okay? So what should we do? Well, um, one of the things that we should do is that we need to get all the data out from the form. Get element by ID, so we're gonna get the full name. And I'm just gonna 
copy these because we need to have the message. A message and we also need to have created at. Uh, no, we need to have the hidden ID. So we write hidden ID. It's because if we click submit, this could be uh, the user creating a new review, but it could also be the user updating an existing review. So we need to get the ID for the review if it is just being updated. Uh, if it's a new review, we're going to create a new ID based on the date. So basically we're, we're using our database reference now. So we are uh, querying in the database now. It says reviews. And then we are putting in uh, let's see here, I just need to type in a few code first because we need to make this ID and uh, let's see here, if we have the hidden ID, we're taking the value but if it is um, if it's a new one, if it's a new review, we don't have a hidden ID so then we're going to do uh, the date uh, so this will actually form the ID because it is a time stamp that we will pass on to Firebase. So we have reviews and then we will provide the ID and then Firebase has a set method that we can use and then we need to provide the data that we are going to send to Firebase. So we're going with full name and then we specify the full name, we're taking the value. Whoop message and uh, let's see here we also need to have the created at and now we're going to use a built-in value uh, from firebase called uh, the timestamp so it will tell us uh, when we created this review so this is just a a value stored in the database that we can use. All right, so this is basically the code. We can enhance this even further, but let's see. We got the full name, message, and hidden ID. So let's have, have a look. Let's try to save this and go to our application, refresh it. If we type in user three, it sounds good. Uh, awesome pizza. Yeah, okay. Uh, so we can see nothing happens, uh, we don't have any uh, printout, we don't have any uh, read in our CRUD operation, but if we go to the console uh, of Firebase, we can see that we actually got some data stored in the database. So we can create reviews. Um, best one. So click our Add, and we get a new one. Right. So that was the first, that was the create here in our CRUD. Cool. So in the next video, we will start making the read, how we can print out the different reviews and also enhance further on, on the app.js file. All right, thanks for watching and how I hope you make this work. Bye-bye.